we're outnumbered with pets, like 10 to 1. We got one back there. We got one right here. We got one right here. <laughs> Charity's going to join us. Now, Charity's going to walk across the camera like normal. On the Charity, catwalk. One way or the other. You Over can't here, sit in the middle. Over here. Yeah. There you go. Come sit next to mommy. <laughs> What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you can find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. My poor mom. I totally spaced out and forgot that she needed me to take her to drop her car off to get serviced. So yeah, I'm glad that we live really close and I'm so sorry. I had to go in pajama pants. <coughs> like it was so bad. I just jumped out of bed. I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot. It is time for your mom to get a new car. That car has had so many little issues. Yeah. What is it? It is a Ford Escape. It is. It's been good for what she's it's needed little, it for. It's little issues that repeat over and over and over again. And she doesn't drive her car a lot. No, she. it's like four years old. She's got like 25, 30,000 miles on it. And But I don't like Ford's answer. And I, I'm a Ford guy. I've owned Ford trucks for years. But I, th I don't know if it's just our local Ford dealership. Their answer is, well, it only happened six months ago. I'm like, why does it keep happening? I know. It's like so much nonsense. Welcome to day nine of the road back. How are you feeling after eating the Maria Emmerich egg pudding? Please do not I tell know. me you feel inflamed because that was so good. I feel really, really good. Um, I didn't have any problems going to bed last night and sleeping. I didn't have any stomach issues. Other than the fact that I slept so good, I slept through my alarm to go take my mom. Um, I I feel amazing. So I actually feel yeah. really good. I'm holding steady in the 193 range. Mm -hmm. I don't really put much stock in 193.5, 193.7, 193.3. Right. I'm 193. I'm good with that, which means I'm less than 10 pounds away from my maintaining low time keto weight. Yes, there were a couple times where I hit like 182, but that was like a couple of days. I pretty much for more than two and a half, three years maintained at 185 and I'm less than 10 pounds away from that. So I'm excited. I don't even expect to get to that because I've put on muscle since then because thanks to Bronson, I've started integrating more strength training. So if I get to 189, I'd be happy. Even if I get to 190, which I know is possible. My my original pants at a size 29 still don't fit, so I have a little bit to go. But all of my shorts are too big, which means now I need to go shopping, and I hate shopping for pants. I just hate it. I wish that we could count on thrift stores for your pants. But, it's hard for guys. But you really have to try your pants on. Yeah. I think that what we need to do is, and I recommend this for everybody, is visit some local malls, especially if you're wanting to utilize a thrift store. This yeah. is my advice as a longtime thrifter. Um, go to different mall stores, Old Navy, go to, you know, try on a Wrangler, try on like different, try Express for right. men, like try different jeans, lucky jeans, whatever. And then keep a little log on your phone. How do they fit? How do they fit? Like what size do you need in arrow versus Wrangler? And then you have a list. And then if you're in a thrift store, you've got a better shot of actually hitting the target if you know you say oh, okay this is an arrow jean looks like this is my size 34 in this one or 36 depending on what it is don't get hung up on the size the number because they vary somebody asked me yesterday um what size jeans do you wear it totally depends on the pair of jeans 
I was wearing a size zero as I was talking to them, and yet I have some that are a size six and a size eight. So it right. really depends on the fit and the cut. Yeah, even for me, I mean, at my lowest weight, I was wearing a size 29 super skinny jean from Aeropostal. But they're all built different. But then I needed a 32 in um, Hollister, but I needed a 31 in Express. Yeah. So it really just varies. And then there's other things where even at 185 pounds, I was wearing a 34. For me, that that is a devastating blow. When I put on something, even now, where I'm like somewhere, like right around a 32, I'm back into most of my 32s, but occasionally I'll put on a pair of shorts and it says like 34 or 36 and it's super tight. And I'm like, I'm not wearing that. And Rachel's like, but it looks good on you, but it says 36 and I, I can't get my mind off of 36. It's just like a shirt. I mean, I'm wearing pretty much medium shirts. I'm, most of my shirts are still larges because I grab a lot purchased. of my mediums and now I have to redo the mediums. Uh, but when if I am wearing a medium and then all of a sudden I put on an extra large and it's tight, it freaks me out. Now, probably that extra large is cut as a slim fit or it's just a weird size, but it still messes with me. And that's something that I have to, you know, work on. Yeah. So uh, really busy day. I know we always say it's a busy day, but tomorrow is our 11 hour live stream. I'm getting a little sweaty. And I'm getting a little sweaty that are we going to have enough content right. to talk about for 11 hours? Right now we have three guests. A couple of our guests uh, had some issues come up and they had to back out. And I'm really worried that we're going to be able to talk for 11 straight hours. Hopefully you guys, by the time you see this video, like the 11 hour live stream will have already gone, but... I'm really praying that you guys are active in the chat so that that will keep us going because the more active the chat is, the more we have to talk about. Yeah. But on top of all of that and getting ready for the 11 hour live stream, with all the rain we had last week, all of our cutting is fallen this week because Just during happens. the winter, there's not as much cutting because we go from every week to every other week and I had everything pretty much divvied out where I only had one, maybe two days of cutting per week during the winter. And now all of a sudden it's every day. So Anthony and I have to go and this is the week to cut a hedge. So we were going to push it to Friday and I'm like, ah, oh, but we have to cut the hedge. And Anthony has a varsity a playoff game Friday night. So we can't take too long with that. I was thinking before I go though, I know you've got a couple of videos to preview and uh, we need to get caught up on comments. We're a couple of days behind on comments. And we haven't even put up the new, the blender bottles, the, the insulated bottles. So we'll you can take it. pictures of those for yeah. me today. I would appreciate it. I, I've been trying to figure out what are we going to do tomorrow because we're not going to really have time to cook for 11 hours. So my thought is just do keto chow throughout the day. Just like later on today, I'm let's fine prep a bunch of keto chows. Can we have ice cream? We can make a keto chow ice cream. Well, we have the blendy. That's the, the creamy. That we, those are already made in a roulette style. So let's just make up some keto chows without dropping the eggshell in. And uh, if you drop the eggshell in this time, gotta eat it. we're going to grind it up. It is good for you. There's My lots of calcium in actually there. said last night in the premiere when that happened, he's like, just keep going. Yeah. Just keep blending. I've, I have had that. And actually, some people say... It's good for you every now and then to to eat the shells and, you know, just like it's good for the uh, chickens. Yeah, now I would, if you're going to eat the, the egg shells, which we've not done yet, I would make sure you're washing the shells, especially yeah. if you have backyard chickens. Like we because, do. again, that's where a lot of the, the possibility and the chance of getting salmonella from your eggs is, is higher than getting hit by lightning. But... Um, Anything that you would have would be on the outside of the shell, especially if you have backyard chickens. We yep. don't wash our eggshells from the backyard chickens because we don't eat the eggshells. I think most people who eat the e eggshells have planned it and not pulling a Rachel and right. just dropping it in there. So what do you think? Is that a good plan for I tomorrow? I think that's a great plan. Back to the Maria Emmerich pudding, I was concerned because about an hour after eating it, my mouth... Like I felt a cooling, like I just had a mint in my mouth, but I really? used allulose. So that was really oh. like making me go, what's going on? Didn't like, have erythritol. I, I didn't have erythritol, but I think it was just that we haven't had anything sweet 
in so long. Yeah. It was my taste buds just exploding. It definitely tasted much more action packed than I remembered, even though I knew we were using her same recipe because like I felt like the cinnamon just got boom. Yeah. And like I, our flavor profiles have definitely heightened. But here's the thing, that's good. Mm -hmm. I think back pre-keto and how, you know, after you had just eaten so much sugary nonsense and, you know, package type of treats, nothing really stood out. Right. There was never a time where I ate dinner or anything where it was just like, wow. Yeah. And now I feel like on keto and I'm reminded once again, you know, because of this challenge, I enjoy and taste things and it really did taste like a wonderful treat. Yeah. One thing I did do, but that's what I've always done is because I use allulose, I put four or five drops of a sucralose in there to bring up the sweetness because allulose is only 70% yeah. as sweet as swerve or as uh, sugar. And now I'm feeling I didn't need to. I didn't expect it to be so sweet and it was sweeter than I remember. But again, I think it's because we haven't anything sweet for a long time. And even like you were just saying, you know, with the standard American diet where we got like we nullified or we dulled our senses for that sweetness, it's because they put sugar in everything. So, so I think we're just accustomed to eating yeah. sugar. And once you don't have something that's at all sweet, you're like, ooh, this is disgusting. So on, you know, people that are not keto are always going to come at you, especially during the holiday times and be like, you're so deprived. I'm so right. sorry. And it's like. I'm sorry for you because you're you're eating all of these different things, but I don't I know that you're not getting all of the action and the flavor out of them that you're thinking you are. Right. Because I remember what it was like to have these dulled, you know, taste senses. And one thing I would say before we go is if you are new to keto or carnivore or any any version of the proper human diet and you are worried that like hey you know, I can't get rid of my cravings for sugar. Give it time. Yeah. It will go away when you are getting those cravings for sugar, especially if you're early on. I highly encourage you to not fall back on a bunch of the keto sweeteners. Like give yourself a little bit of time to kind of get rid of that. And then when you introduce them, it won't be like, oh, this isn't sugar. Yeah. Yeah. If you try to go di directly from sugar to erythritol or allulose, yeah. you're going to be like, this isn't the same thing. You're going to be disappointed because it's not the same thing. Right. But the longer you're away from sugar, the more those other items are sweet enough. So yeah. just give it time. What are you doing? I am giving you the rest of the coffee because you're allowed to have more than one cup. I can. Thank you so much. What are you doing over there? I am previewing day three of the Palooza vlog. We're finally getting that out. And I am just like, I'm missing my friends. I know. I know. <laughs> Anthony's playing his piano, but we have to go. Give me a kiss. Have I ever said how much I hate doing hedges, especially if I have to get up on a ladder? especially ficus hedges because they're messy and they're covered in sap and then to top it off I know that this hedge is going to begin to die after I trim it because it has an insect on it called white fly and I keep telling this condo board that hey your hedge has white fly and it has to be treated and they don't want to spend the money so when you trim the hedge the white fly attacks it more and then they'll finally go and spend the money and get it treated. So if you're curious what white fly is, you can see as I hit it, I don't know if it shows up on video, but all these little white flies coming off and these flies are just going to destroy this hedge. Within two days, all the leaves will start dropping off. So it needs to be treated fairly quickly.
now that everything is trimmed, Anthony blew everything out from underneath the hedge and he's just gonna run it over with the mower and it saves us raking time. So unfortunately, this is what the hedge is gonna look like in a few days if they don't treat it for white fly. So I'm gonna call them and tell them, hey, the hedge has white fly. If you don't treat it, all the leaves are gonna drop off and it's gonna look like this. Unfortunately, it's really expensive to treat for white fly, but it's more expensive to replace the hedge. Oh look, a bird's nest. What you doing? I'm working on the outline for tomorrow because I will go crazy if we don't have a plan. I know you <sighs> love to fly by the seat of your pants, but I literally need to have like hour one, hour two, hour three, what's happening? Are oh, you gonna hug on me? You didn't take a shower yet. I didn't so. take a shower either, so your I'm smelliness not, is I'm not sweaty not or smelly, me. but I'm covered in like, you know, ficus dust. You look so serious. <laughs> I know I do because I just I Don't fret it. I think the I'm time's gonna, gonna go fret. by much faster than you think. We're interviewing Steve from Sirius Keto. We have Keto Chow. We have Goody Beats on. We have somebody from Wounded Warriors. Uh, Jay Morales from Omaha. I think the time is going to go by much faster than you think. I do believe that that is true. However, five minutes of any type of technical problem, like here, Rachel, just talk to everybody while while I go and, and be gone, like that will undo me. So I have to have a plan. What do you think about New York strips for dinner to, or lunch today? I think that that is like New York, New York. I'm all in. So we got these New York strips out of the freezer. I'd gotten them at Sam's Club a while back. And this is what we do. We just vacuum seal everything. We don't cook in these bags, but it's great for storing. I'm gonna go ahead and taking these out. And we're gonna season them up. First thing I'm gonna do is look at that. Boy, these are nice thick steaks. We're gonna pat them dry. I'm gonna put a little bit of Redmond's kosher salt on them. Oh. And then a little bit of the organic garlic pepper. Make sure you get all the sides. You want that nice crust all the way around. Go ahead and let those sit and we'll cook them up in a little while. What are you doing? I'm trying to do something with this crazy looking hair. This is going to be such a boring vlog. I don't think to so. To look at because I'm at the same place all day. I'm either changing out the laundry or working on the outline. That's okay. Yep. And it's the real us. Doesn't matter it's two o'clock in the afternoon and you still haven't taken your shower. I have not taken a shower, so there's that. I'm ready to eat. What about you? Me too, definitely. So I started the grill. It's gonna take about an hour for the steaks and stuff. Okay. So I have a little thing for you. There's yeah. some leftover eggs when I made the uh, Maria Emmerich hard boiled egg pudding because you only use 10. Uh huh. But. I cooked 12. Would so. you like one also? No, I think I'll, I, I'll, I'll let you have them. You love hard boiled eggs. I For love me, hard boiled eggs. They're so, so. Chris and Miriam last night were talking during a live stream like about hard boiled eggs and scrambled eggs. I need to try to make the Maria Emmerich pudding with scrambled eggs instead of hard boiled eggs. But it kind of raised the question, do you like hard boiled eggs or do you like scrambled eggs? I like both. You like both? Like they were talking about that you could make egg salad with scrambled eggs it's still eggs and when you put it all in your mouth it's probably the same taste i think mm -hmm. it's a difference in texture so for me when it comes to egg salad i definitely want a really chunky egg salad i don't want the whites all mushy a lot of times right. you go places like restaurants or diners or even when you buy like store-bought ones, which you shouldn't do because they use really crappy oils in their mayonnaise. But it's like they, they it's, turn it to nothing. It's like mush. I, I want chunks of white. Even 
when we used to go to Sweet Tomatoes, which unfortunately they closed as mm -hmm. as a result of the big C, right? Yeah. But I would want to go to the salad bar and I didn't want the yolks. I was like digging out. I want that chunky white. I love the white when it's cooked in a hard boiled egg. I feel the same way about tuna salad and chicken salad. Like, you don't want I, it all mushy. I don't want it all mushy. I want to be able to have texture differences. Why don't you enjoy your eggs? And then while the grill is doing its thing, why don't you take a shower? So not that you not smell so or anything, but hint. it'll refresh you, right? Like, I don't know about y'all, but if I take a shower, if I sit in the bath, if I get in the hot tub, I feel refreshed when I get up. That's why when I get up in the morning, even though I'm going to do a dirty job like landscaping. Right. You still take a shower. I still take a shower. It's not that like I'm really dirty from sleeping. It just wakes me up. It makes me feel better. I think that's a good idea. Wow, what a difference. I cannot believe how much room is in this dress. I mean, I was fine a month and a half ago to have this thing on like a sausage casing, but wow, what a difference what 50 something days makes. Wait, and that's only two pounds. Yeah. Two pounds, but what a difference. That's why the scale is, is the, the devil. devil. And the mirror is a liar because this is evidence that stuff is happening. Steak. Yum. So we got New York strips. I cooked them on the Kamado. I had them on a low heat, like 250 degrees for about 20 minutes. Got to an internal temperature of 125 degrees. Then I bumped up the heat, seared them a little bit. I'm excited about these. Me too. New York strips are actually my favorite. Are they really? Yeah. Mmm. Let's see. Really nice. Did and we get a medium all the way through? Yes, yes, we did. Look at that. Mission accomplished. Medium. So we did get uh, a new product from Redmond Relight today. This is Relight Boost. So it's similar to the capsules, the boost capsules oh, yeah. that give you some energy. So on the side here it says Redmond Relight Boost is a clean energy drink that gives you uh, leaves you feeling focused and invigorated without giving you the jitters and causing you to crash. This would be nice. good if this could actually, at least for me, replace drinking Zip Fizz on a regular basis. Because number one, Zip Fizz does have carbs in it. There's right. like two to four carbs depending on the flavor. And sometimes I get a little bit like this. Yeah, because it's got so much vitamin B in there. And also, some people don't like Zip Fizz because of the sucralose. So... Yeah. You know, this could be a good option for him. It says it gives an amazing lift through an optimal blend of electrolytes, B vitamins, green tea extract, beetroot extract, ginseng, redolia rose, and ashwagandha. Take Real Light Boost first thing in the morning before a workout, during a midday slump, or whenever you feel your energy is low. Each serving is 500 milligrams of sodium, 350 milligrams of potassium, 120 milligrams of green tea, 10 milligrams of ginseng, and 10 milligrams of maca root. I was looking, they put the writing so tiny on here. And it has uh, 23 milligrams of vitamin B3, 2.4 milligrams of B6, 7.2 milligrams of B12, and then some calcium, magnesium, 40 milligrams of magnesium, so that's pretty good. And nice. zero carbs. I I'm, like that. I, I really like that. I was looking for the ingredients on here. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about this. You want to go ahead and try it? Here you go. Other ingredients. Yeah. GMO-free citric acid, ancient sea salt, Redmond sea salt, natural lemon and lime flavors, uh, and then we have stevia. And it does say it contains coconut. So we have two flavors. We have lemon lime mm -hmm. and raspberry mango. Wow, I think either one of those would be good. So I mixed up two of them. I don't know which one is which. So we're gonna play roulette. All right, I'm. This has like a pinkish tint to it. I'm wondering if this is not the raspberry. Here's yours. Thank you. This is the raspberry. Cause this is my lemon lime. Tastes just like lemon lime. This is pretty good. Try that one. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's raspberry. That's good. That is very good. It and doesn't have a mango taste. It's got a raspberry it taste. It has a raspberry taste, and usually I don't like berry stuff. Right. Right? But I, I actually think that's really good. But nothing 
Nothing is better you than like lemon, lemon lime, lime to me. I will leave a link for this down below. You can use the coupon code 2 Crazy Ketos. That will get you 15% off. What are you wearing? Well, later on, we're going to interview Bronson, and I want to wear this particular t-shirt. So thanks to Brianna, I don't have to wear my steak on my shirt. <laughs> How do you feel about putting on that dress? That was amazing and eye-opening. We need more moments like that where yeah. we just stop for a second and compare to, to what we've been doing. And even in a month or two months, you can see dramatic changes. And again, it's only a two pound loss. Yeah. So that's at least a size. And it was and all- And it's a two pound loss. And it, was, and it was all with the help of things like steak. Roscoe is over there like, where is my food? Where is his food? He, well, I just moved the dish in order to clean it. But apparently, I have not built up enough credit <laughs> over 15 plus years with him for him to trust me enough to know, like, I will return the food bowl completely full. He doesn't want it all day long until you move it. Did you move my dish? I mean, I guess I feel like the same way. Do I act like that sometimes? Probably. Sometimes. Where's my food? Where's my food? It's coming. Every night, Rachel, I give you dinner, but yeah. No. So, uh, we just finished the interview with Bronson because he wasn't going to be able to come on live with us. It was so good. Wow. I mean, it was so amazing. If you missed the live stream because you're going to be seeing this after live stream and you didn't see that interview, Go back and watch it. Uh, what we're going to do is, after the live stream is over, over a couple days, we're going to put some timestamps in there. But it's going to take some time because yeah. there's going to be 11 hours. Now, I do have an outline, so we sort of know what hour he'll be in. Yeah, the chance that we're going to follow that outline. Don't do that. <laughs> well, the thing, I mean, I think it's a great outline, but you just never know. We're yeah. live. You can have an interview that we expect to take an hour and it can go in an hour and a half. Which and we're you fine can with. Have another one that we expect is gonna take an hour and it goes 20 minutes. Right. So, you know, we're gonna kinda let the day flow, but I think you've got a good outline for things. But I think what we'll do is I'll keep a little notepad next to us and we'll try to just kind of mark when something interesting comes on, like, you know, an interview or if we're featuring a story or something like that, where we could you know, like just kind of jot down the time so that that'll make it a little bit easier to it's add the timestamps later plan, on. But I think you're about to have 11 hours of interesting. I, well, I know that. I really you know. Do. I'm talking about some of the super highlights. I'm excited about the whole live stream, but I will say I was really uh, mesmerized by Bronson's story. Yes. He's such a strong guy, and to hear him talk about being vulnerable, you know, being vulnerable and some of the issues that. He suffered coming out of the military in adjusting to the life. And he's like, and there are things that I still go through. And I would have never known that since I know him on a personal level. I feel like talking to him, you get more of a perspective of the need for community and how community really can turn so much around yeah, and really help us in our daily life. So I, I just feel so encouraged. Every time I talk to him, I feel so encouraged. If you're not following Bronson, go follow him. He puts so many resources out there for free. Yeah. He's coming on and doing a Zoom call for all of our Patreon members and all of our channel members the second Tuesday of every month. He's doing that for free. And it's supposed to be 30 minutes, but a lot of times he goes almost an hour and it's just, he's like, if I can help one more person, then yeah. I'm going to stay. And so I really appreciate that from him. So powerful. So uh, we're going to eat a little bit of dinner. We did have that steak. I'm a little hungry, but not super hungry. But I, I don't want to be stuffed for tomorrow And either. I had two eggs earlier before right. we had the steak. Right. Because he could sense that I was like, I want some eggs. So yeah. I appreciate that. So we're going to have a couple of eggs. And then uh, we've got... More of the Maria Emmerich egg pudding because we did well with that. And that's a bunch of eggs. Yeah. So, I mean, you figure there were 10 eggs in there. You had, and we basically split that by four. You know, that's what, two and a half eggs a piece? Today has been stressful in a good way. You're anticipating what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. You know, you're wanting everything to go smoothly, but... 
you also are aware that you're doing everything live. Our internet's been janky today, so really I'm praying for good internet right. tomorrow. So uh, we did prepare nine keto chows. Yes. For tomorrow. We may or may not drink all nine. If we drink all nine, you know, like, I guess nine, right? Six. We made six keto chows. We made six. Six. Right. So three. No, I made nine. I did make nine. Did you three, make nine? Three, three, and three. So we have plenty of keto We're chows. Good. And uh, each keto chow has three tablespoons of butter and an egg in there. So I I'm good with that. If anything we don't drink, I say we stick it in the freezer into a creaming container and be ready to go with some more I'm, ice cream. I'm totally cool with that. We may even have a, an, a keto chow ice cream on camera. But I I'm happy to know that. I have that as if we don't have anything else to eat, if we don't have any other time to eat, that's there as a backup, which is what we use keto chow for. We also have keto bricks that we could eat if we want to. And I did make a roast that I can always come in and slice it up during one of our breaks or, you know, we've got some videos from the Wounded Warrior Project, all of that. And that campaign, that campaign is continuing for a few days. So if you didn't get a chance to donate, I will leave a link for that down below so that you can go donate to the Wounded Warriors Project. What I was gonna say um, before connected to like the stress of the day was, just like tomorrow, we have a plan. And mm -hmm. I think that that is a really good thing to have because you don't know what's gonna come up, but you do have a plan and we have things that will help keep us forwarding our goals. Today, we knew we wanted to keep it simple mm -hmm. with, with food that we could rely on. Yep. I tend to reach for more food on days when I'm doing something creative. I don't know why. If I'm writing or if I'm putting together a project, I just get like excited in the moment and I I do get a little bit noshy, right? Yeah. The difference is if I'm reaching for these basics like a beef, butter, bacon, eggs, some sort of almost completely carnivore pudding, right? It helps me to not go off track like right. we are still even though i ate some you know extra eggs today it's not a bad it's thing eggs. it's eggs it's not like i reached for something that would unravel my health plans and so i think it's really important if you know you're going into a, a high stress day mm -hmm. i think about like when we would get ready for the band concert or the christmas pageant or like all of the things that you know hey this is this is a holiday time. I know I've got like, just, I'm very stressed out. I have a plan. Yeah. I think you're going to be happy you did. Well, before we go, I just want to say, Rachel cooked the eggs. How do you, what, how do I do? Yolks are slightly overcooked. I'm sorry. Not too overcooked. Okay. But they're actually pretty good. They got a really good seasoning on them. I don't know what you use. Um, I use the daily mineral drops as salt. On oh, okay. These well, they, they've got, like I said, yolk isn't runny, but that's okay. Hey, I overcook my yolk sometimes because I'm trying to cook yours and mine, and then I get on the computer and forget, and usually I have to pull mine off first and I forget. So even I screw them up. Doesn't so I think you bad. did a great job. No, they're not overcooked where they're white. They're still a pretty deep yellow. But I and mean, that's great as a seasoning. This really works as a seasoning. Yeah. It's too hard to shoot it. Yeah. Don't oh, no. try to just slug it back. I give credit to anybody that can shoot it. I know. Okay. Well, that is going to be today's video. I don't think we're going to have a day 10 vlog. I, I am not planning on vlogging at all tomorrow. And anything that we do eat, you're going to see it on the live stream. Right. So we will air this one probably on Friday after a really... I can't even sleep because I have to cut the church. Saturday I will be sleeping. Um, but uh, we'll probably air this sometime on Friday or Saturday. We'll get kind of caught back up that way. And then we'll jump right into on Friday with... What is it, day 10 or 11? I don't know, I've lost count. Uh, you'll know by the time the video comes out. <laughs> if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.